This episode of Film Riot's brought to you by GoDaddy and Squarespace. Ryan! Ryan! Ryan? Oh. Ryan. <laughs> Oh no. You're trying to pull me in one of your sick fantasies again. Getting Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film was made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Right is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. So grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Right. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes a mystery out of the effects techniques that go into some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. Today's email is a question that we've been getting over and over since the very beginning. Check it out. Hey! Would it be at all possible to do an episode going over some of the basics of sound and audio for aspiring filmmakers? I know that's broad, but hey, plenty of legroom. Cheers, Daniel Phillips. We got a last name on that one. How about that? We don't typically get last names. I guess now I can call my friends in the government and have them find out where he lives. <laughs> Not for anything creepy, just to maybe stop in, help him work on that Mustang that's sitting in the garage that he keeps telling his wife, oh, I'm gonna fix it, but we know we won't. Good old Daniel. The best place to start with audio is at the beginning, with a little film history on audio. And now you're thinking, ah, history was my least favorite subject in school, it's so boring. Not when Film Riot does it. Film history, biatch! Josh. What was the name of the feature film with the first completely synchronized soundtrack? Was it A, The Jazz Singer, B, Don Juan, or C, The Cat and the Canary? Uh, A, The Jazz Singer. Wrong, bitch! Bitch! Let's head this forum debacle off at the path. No, Don Juan is not the first film with sound, but it is the first film with synchronized sound, which was a huge step in the right direction for sound and film. Don Juan was released in 1926 and used the Vitaphone, which was a sound process that utilized 16-inch phonograph records and would play at the same time the film was projected. Freck I'm smart. <laughs> no, I read it. What was the first feature film to use synchronized dialogue? Was it A, Old San Francisco, B, The Scarlet Lady, or C, The Jazz Singer? Was it The Scarlet Lady? Wrong, biatch! Biatch! The Jazz Singer, which was released in 1927, was the first talkie, which is a motion picture with synchronized dialogue. Now this film also utilized the Vitaphone and was directed by Alan Crossland, who also directed Don Juan. Now both of these films were produced by Warner Brothers, who held the rights to the Vitaphone. Now obviously The Jazz Singer was a huge milestone for film and the start of the decline of the silent era. Am I impressing you yet? Yes, I am. Bruno! What was the name of the soundproof housing used to silence the loud noises of the motion picture cameras of old? Was it A, Zeppelin, B, Blimp, or C, Dampener? C, Dampener. Wrong, biatch! Biatch! 
A blimp was the housing that the camera would be placed into to silence the very loud mechanisms of the cameras of old. Now at the start, these housings were enormous, and the reason why, back in some of the older films, the camera didn't move very much. How interesting is that, hmm? Pretty interesting. And now that we know where sound came from, let's get into some sound usages. U usages or uses? Usages, uses. What is the name of the sound effect technique for synchronous effects or live effects? I don't know. Is it A, mixing, B, Fo yes, full source. B, Foley, or C, ADR? A. Wrong, bitch! No. Uh, oh, no. B, -H. Foley is the art of matching live sound effects to the actions of a motion picture. Foley got its name from its creator, Jack Donovan Foley, who was a sound editor at Universal Pictures in the 1950s. A Foley artist will take any object, surface, and their own body to make sound effects to match the actions they see on the film. All this would take place on a Foley stage, where they would have mics set up and a screen playing the movie for them to match their sound effects to. Great examples of this would be replacing the sound of someone walking or using coconuts to make the sound of a horse running. Bruno, what does ADR stand for? A, automated dialogue replacement, B, automatic dialogue replacement, or C, automated dialogue rendering. A, auto automated dialogue replacement. That's right, biatch! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, oh jeez. Biatch. Automated dialogue replacement, which is also called ADR or looping, is the process of re-recording dialogue from a scene that's already been shot. This is done when a location's far too noisy to get usable production sound or a plethora of other similar reasons. Now what'll happen here is an actor's brought into a recording studio where the scene they're there to re-record will be played in front of them and they'll say their lines over again to match the way they said it originally. Now believe it or not, most major films are 70% ADR. It's pretty crazy, right? We are learning so much and I have been surprisingly focused. I deserve a break. Okay. Hard tangerines at my back. Why? <laughs> Whoever hits me in the back of the head owes me 20 bucks. No, no. Put your head like against the wall like that. That's up. Ready? And three, two, one. Oh, freaking oh, sacky balls! Ow! Where did it hit you even? Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! You ready, Ryan? I bet you I'm gonna miss, is what I bet. I'm not a baseball player. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Fuck! Oh, <laughs> the same spot? Really? <laughs> oh. Looking to drive viewers to your video content? Well then get a .tv domain name and stand out from the crowd. .tv domain names are perfect for podcasters, video bloggers, anyone with something to say. And they're available now at GoDaddy.com. Also be sure to check out Revision3.com forward slash GoDaddy for all the Film Riot GoDaddy deals and codes. So as you may or may not remember, two weeks ago I showed how you could do some no budget makeup effects using flour and water. Then I invited you to make your own tutorial to try to make it onto the show. And the winner is... from YouTube. Begin by mixing flour and water in a bowl to make a thick paste. Spread a layer of flour and scoop a ball shape of the mixture onto the plate. Sprinkle flour to prevent sticking. Make odd shapes for better results. Place in freezer for 45 minutes. Remove from freezer and now you're ready for application. Cut balls into desired shapes. Start spreading a layer of the paste on the surface you are covering. Then take your balls and stick them on the layer. Take the mixture and seal the edges to hold them in place. After your design is complete, spread the edges to blend in with the skin. Using fake blood, which you can get at any costume or party supply store, pour onto the area and spread with a brush, leaving the ball shapes uncovered. Take black eyeshadow, scrape it into a powder form, and sprinkle it onto the ball, spreading with the brush. Apply more blood on top of the black eyeshadow and spread it with the brush to make a different shade of blood. For a final step, blend all the edges into the skin. And voila!
And there you go, two more things you could do with just a little bit of creativity. And thanks to everybody who sent in their video, I enjoyed watching all of them, but if you didn't make it, don't worry, there's gonna be another chance for you to get yourself on the show very, very soon. Manage your entire Squarespace site on the go with the new Squarespace iPhone application. You can post and edit blog entries and upload pictures on the fly. Snap photos on your phone and quickly post them to your blog. And content management is super easy. All of your posts will be accessible directly from your Manage tab. You can edit drafts, delete posts, and preview posts with ease. And best of all, you can manage multiple accounts. Your Accounts tab allows you to manage content from multiple Squarespace sites. You can save a draft post from one site and then easily jump to another site to schedule a post for later in the day. So jump over to squarespace.com and get your site going. And when you do, be sure to use the promo code FILMRIOT to get 10% off the life of your order. And that's it. But now you're thinking, wait a minute, he didn't answer the email. And you'd be right. But just consider this episode an introduction and come back next week when we get into production and post-production audio. But until then, if you have something you'd like to see on the show, you can email me at filmwriterrevision 3com You can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. And of course, don't forget about the Facebook. Mm. Boo! See you next Thursday. I'm kidding. You were like, ah, he's not going to say it. But then I came back to say it. And you're like, what? Because this show's so unpredictable. Sometimes I just get really emotional and my eye cries. Just this one. This one's an insensitive, but this one's sensitive.